<laughs> hey, what is going on, everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario. And in this video here, I am going to be showing you all if you have a modified switch running Atmosphere custom firmware, how you can play music locally on your system, but in the background, whether you're in the home menu, you're running an app, or you're playing one of your favorite games, how you can play music in the background on this using SysTune. So it's pretty similar to what we've seen functionality wise on many other consoles, even going as far back as the Xbox 360. However, it is nice with the ability of custom firmware, we can add this back into the system or really, I guess, add it for the first time. So there will be a few things that you'll need to get started on this. First of all, you are going to need your modified switch running Atmosphere custom firmware and a way to access the files on your SD card. I'm personally going to be just turning off my switch, removing the SD card, and popping into my computer using a USB adapter. But if you want to use another method, it's completely up to you. You're also going to need a way to download a couple files, because we are going to be installing SysTune as well as Tesla. Now real quick, if you want to check and see if you have Tesla, first of all, if you have the Tesla menu and you use it, you don't have to install that again. But if you're unsure, on your controller, at the same time, press the L shoulder button down on the d-pad and press in on the right thumbstick if you do all that at the same time and nothing comes up that means you do not have tesla however if you perform that button combination and a menu comes up on the left that means you already have the tesla menu which means that just saves you one extra download with all that being said though, let's go ahead and get started because we've gotten the intro and the prerequisites out of the way. What I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to turn off my switch, I'm going to remove the micro SD card, and I'm going to move over to my PC so I can not only get the applications but also copy over the music. Now the links for all three of the things I'm going to reference will be linked down below in the description of this video. But the first thing we're going to need here is going to be NX OVL Loader. This is going to be required in order to actually get Tesla installed. In order to grab this here, go to the GitHub repository linked in the description, go over to the releases section, and download the latest build of nxovlloader.zip and save it somewhere you can easily find it. Next up, you're going to need Tesla menu. This is going to make everything work a little bit nicer here and give you an actual menu selection screen. In order to download this, again, find the link down below in the description, go to the releases page, and when you're in releases, download the latest build of ovlmenu.zip and save it somewhere you can easily find it. Finally, we need SysTune itself in order to make this entire tutorial work here. Now, this does have a quick and well done readme on the repository, so I'd recommend giving this here a quick read since there's not all too much to it here. There are some special thanks, and once you get through it, you can come up here, go to releases, and just like the other ones, download the latest release and save it somewhere you can easily find it. So at this point here, this is what everything should look like. You should have your three downloads, or if you have Tesla already, you don't need to download these two, but you just need SysTune itself. You're also going to need some music, but I'll get to that in a little bit. Let's go ahead and get this all installed. First of all, go ahead, grab NX OVL Loader right click it and use your favorite extraction software to extract it into its own directory. You can do the same thing for OVL menu, just extract it into its own directory. And we're going to do the exact same thing with SysTune. Right click and extract that into its own directory. Now make sure you have your micro SD card accessible. I'm just using a micro SD card to USB adapter and plugging it directly into my computer. Go into your micro SD card and thankfully the installation for these is quite simple. Go into the NX OVL loader directory and there should just be an atmosphere directory. Right click, copy this out, and paste it into the root of your USB drive or wherever your micro SD card is. Just look for that atmosphere folder. The next thing we're going to need is OVL menu. Go in here, there's going to be a switch directory. Right click, copy, and paste it to merge it with your own switch directory. If you get anything like file already exists, you can go ahead and override it or hit OK to this. Finally, the last thing we're going to need is of course SysTune. For this, open up the SysTune directory, grab both Atmosphere and Switch directories, right click, copy, and then paste them into the root of your micro SD card. Just like before, I have set this up at one point, but if you get any prompts asking about an overwrite, you can go ahead and overwrite these. Now, the last thing we need is most important. It's going to be our music because this does not hook into anything such as Spotify or YouTube music or any other service. This relies on music that is local on your switch. 
So for here, I actually have a music directory where you're going to need to source your own music, of course. But in here, for demonstration purposes, I put a couple of albums that I enjoy in folders and some one-off MP3s right here. Now, when it comes to formats, there's three formats that work for SysTune. Your music has to be in MP3, FLAC, or WAV format. So if you're unsure of this, you can always check the file names. And if you're using Windows, you can go to View, Show, file name extensions, and make sure that is enabled. As you can see, everything here is MP3, that's fine. But if you are not using MP3, WAV, or FLAC files, you will have to convert your files to one of those compatible formats. However, in order to copy this out, well, this is what I do here. You can put your music anywhere, but what I like to do is in the root of the micro SD card, just make a new folder and make it simple. Call it music. And once you make that music folder, go into it, grab any songs that you want to copy over, right click, copy them, and paste them into that music folder on your micro SD card. Once that's completed, we can come back out here. And if you're using USB, right click, eject your micro SD card, and now pop it back into your switch and boot up custom firmware. Once your switch is up and running and you're booted into custom firmware, this is where you're going to need that button combination. Again, if you missed it before, you're going to press the L shoulder button the down button on the D-pad, and then click in on the right thumbstick. And if you do all of those at once, it should bring up the Tesla menu right here, which is exactly what we needed. Now, you might already have some here if you have tried to mess around with this before, but the one that we are looking for is going to be SysTune. You can come down here, press A, and as you can see, it's just a pretty standard music player. Now to run through this here, in order to add music, you have to create a playlist on here. And in order to do that, you can go down to the music browser, tap the A button, and from here, you can look for whatever's going to be in here. Now mine already defaults to the music folder, which is nice. So if there's any folders that you want to look through here, you can look through those folders. I'm going to press back here, but really if you want to add any songs to this current playlist, you just tap the A button to add each song you want to. I'm going to add some from this folder as well too. And then once you're all sorted out, you can go back, you can go to playlist to check out your songs, but you should also notice that the music is already playing. And from here, you do have abilities just like any other basic music player to go back, go forward, to repeat one song, to shuffle, whatever you want to do. So for example, repeating the same song was already set. If you want to change that, you can press the X button to repeat the playlist or turn off repeat. And if you press the Y button, you can enable and disable shuffle. If you go down to your playlist itself, you can go ahead and select certain songs you want to play, or you can remove them using the A button or the Y button respectfully. If you ever want to add more music, of course you can go back to your music browser and you can add more here. Do keep in mind, whenever you do a full power cycle on your Switch, the playlist is going to get wiped out, so these are not permanent playlists. These will just exist while you are running. And some other important details is going to be the tune volume and the game volume because you might notice that your music is going to be quite loud compared to your game, so you might want to turn that down if you want to do that. But if you want to turn down the game volume, you can do that as well too. Either way, once you have those basic options sorted, that's really how you navigate a music player just like any other. From here at this point, you can close out and you can open up any other applications you want to. One game that I've enjoyed, for example, is Vampire Survivors. And if you haven't played this uh, one, you might want to be careful because it is pretty addictive. And two, this is a great game to kind of chill out to and play and uh, just have your own music running in the background. So that's the nice thing about it. If you ever want to bring this back up, like I said, it's going to be the L shoulder button down on the D-pad and pressing the right stick in. And from here, you can go over to SysTune. You can control your music with the left and right buttons on the D-pad. You can use A to pause and start it and do whatever you want to on here while you're playing your favorite games. Anyways, that is about it for this video here. Hopefully it helped out. Hopefully it got you all started. And if you have not messed with the Tesla menu before, well, the cool thing is there's other applications out there and some really awesome other overlays that you can check out. But hopefully you have some fun with SysTune right here. But as I always say, this is Mr. Mario signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, a like would absolutely be appreciated. And if you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well, too.